Hey guys, I'm Jason Dornstar. I'm here with John Osborne from Courtesy Acura. We're going to do our episode of Shoeshine Confessions. Welcome, John. Stand on up here. Get Great. comfy. All right. Thanks for coming. Absolutely. Appreciate Thank you it, for man. the invitation. No worries at all. So, what does it take to be a good leader, John? Humility. Yeah? Yeah, humility awesome. and willingness to connect. Okay. What, uh, give an example of how that uh, translates to your leadership qualities and style. Yeah, I think, uh, one, you have to walk through their shoes mm -hmm. and understand what that is like. Yeah. Um, and then connecting with that each person. Um, we have 80 employees at our store. And I try to make a point to just get to know them as best I can. However, 80 people is really hard. Mm -hmm. But little things like taking people to lunch, yeah. um, doing on birthdays and anniversaries, uh, giving them a card or a gift card on their anniversaries at the store and just tell them how much you appreciate them. Yeah. Um, get buy-in and then also ask how we can improve, you know, and always looking to, because I don't have all the answers, you know, so letting people know that you care about them. So what, uh, what ways do you guys recognize your employees that stand out and give uh, exceptional customer service. Yeah, we do a couple of really cool things at our store. So I already mentioned the celebrating anniversaries and mm -hmm. birthdays. We do a monthly uh, meeting for the entire uh, organization, first Fridays of the month. Okay. We bring in lunch and we do about a 15 minute stand up meeting uh, going over with each of the employees, um, you know, what we're working on. Usually it's customer service oriented. Um, Right now we're reading a book called Excellence Wins, a mm -hmm. um, gentleman that is a co-founder of the Ritz-Carlton. Okay. Um, and then we, we recognize top sales consultants, top service advisors, top uh, technicians, um, and then people that don't normally get uh, kudos um, from customers, they're in the background but are equally as important. Mm -hmm. So just giving thanks to like let's say the office staff or mm -hmm. our wash bay crew that washes the cars, in fact washed your car. Yeah. Uh, you know? And yeah, it looked pretty good. They don't get the kudos, you know, but mm -hmm. they do if we, we make it a point. So just highlighting individuals that are doing a really good job. Um, we do a couple of cool things at the end of the year. We do kind of an employee of the year where we give them an extra week of vacation and then nice. also pay them a little extra to go enjoy something special. Nice. Um, we also do a brick award. Um, we, we talk about laying a foundation in everything we do. Mm -hmm. So we give a brick award to each employee at the beginning of the month for previous month and they're nominated by their peers. So I'll get an email from however many people want to nominate somebody. Um, last last month I had quite a few and then I sit down and look at all the nominations and then um, we make a decision and we hand that person a brick out. Nice. Um, and then at the end of the year we lay all those bricks together and we build a foundation for the organization. And uh, foundations are extremely important uh, for long-term growth. Is that something growth. that's kind of a national event or is that no, more? No, it's just, yeah. just our... Just Okay, cool. Just our company. I'm sure there's other companies that do something similar to that. Mm -hmm. um, but we really want to highlight the successes, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll we'll work on things we need to to fix individually. Um, and sit down with that person if there's counseling that needs to happen. Yeah. But from a just kind of coaching. From a, from yeah. a coaching, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but we really want to highlight the things that are going really really well in public. Yeah. So it's really it's good. really great. That's cool, man. So. About uh, about your experience in the armed forces, what does what leadership qualities did you learn huh. in your experience in the military, and how does that translate to uh, your leadership qualities over at Courtesy Action? Sure. Yeah, I was in the army uh, many years ago. I was an infantry scout. Thanks for um, yeah, thank you very much. Um, yeah, you know, I I went in. I was 18 years old. Five days when I flew to Fort Benning, Georgia. Uh, for basic training, and man, was I in for a shock. It was pretty hot. Oh, it, was, it was extremely hot. In the middle of the summer? Yeah, you'd stand in the shade, and just, yeah. you're dripping sweat. Yeah. And uh, I grew up in the mountains in Colorado. I'd never experienced humidity, let alone heat like that. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I flew in and realized very quickly this is a bit different than home. For sure. Mountains, and... Uh, and it was really, really hard, um, but something that was extremely important for me to go through. Um, I think I learned, first and foremost, uh, perseverance, finishing a task, um, 
having obstacles and having difficulties and working through them mm -hmm. and getting super creative on how to overcome problem solving. Problem solving. Mm -hmm. um, and then leadership, you know, I, I wasn't in the Army long enough to uh, get a rank high enough to, to really be in charge of a lot of people, but mm -hmm. through observation and seeing um, just some military disciplines of consistencies, you know, um, you have to show up. Mm -hmm. You have to be on time. You have to do things religiously. Um, and, you know, people are always watching, you know, and I have stories when I was in the Army that I didn't do a good job of that, and I have some stories that were great, but all of those were learning experiences, mm -hmm. and I think um, it's huge to learn from mistakes. Mistakes aren't bad. Everyone does them. For sure. It's what you do with them, and mm -hmm. so the military taught me that, too. Learning opportunity. Learning opportunity, mm -hmm. yeah. And so, um, you know, I think from a business standpoint, what it taught me, too, is teaching people it's okay to make a mistake. You mm -hmm. don't want to make the same one multiple times. Right. You, know, you want to yeah. learn from them. Mm -hmm. But you also don't want to be a victim. You don't want to uh, you don't want to just say, well, the circumstances created that, you know, and you take it wasn't my fault. Yeah, you, you, mm -hmm. you take ownership. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, you can make change when you take ownership. Yeah. And uh, so. Yeah, humility. Yeah, right. Yeah. Humility, yeah. yeah. And then I think as a leader, you know, our, our job is to find problems and, and create solutions mm -hmm. and do it with the help of others. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got to take the take the lead and, and mm -hmm. make those dis hard decisions. Yeah. Um, but many times you've got a lot of smart people that can come up with those two and delegate uh, your authority and empower others yeah. is, is huge. Yeah, that's kind of the one thing here at Nordstrom. It's, uh, there's pretty much one general rule in our employee handbook, and it's use your best judgment. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And they empower employees like myself even, you know, to, to do the best job that you can and take ownership of, of every situation and you know, not basically rely on your managers all the time. You know, you Correct. are in control of the situation. Right. And, you know, the experience that you give your customer in the service that you provide is selling in itself, you know. Yep. A little bit. But they're all um, Spanish made. Do they make these with rubber soles? They do. Yeah. Yeah, there's a couple um, that are actually even more comfortable. They're called the uh, Diversa line. I think that one right there on this lace up here is yeah. super padded, super comfy inside. See, that's what's important for my business I yeah. because yeah. that's right. really cool. Yeah, this is our number one selling boot for the past like six years. Wow. And it's um, not changed. It's no. just the exact same. Yep. Um, and how much more pride do you have when you know you've got that authority? For sure. You don't have to go, oh, let me go, let me go check. Yeah, you know? yeah, you, exactly. You got, you're empowered to make decisions. Yeah. That's huge. So what kind of, I know you guys, I mean, the experience that I had at Courtesy Acker was awesome. Um, you know, I've heard it uh, be explained kind of like going to a, a country club. Um, can you talk a little bit about, you know, what elements in your service experience uh, creates a different experience overall for your, your customers? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I've, I've been back at that store. I, I started there in 98. Okay. Um, haven't been there the whole time. I came back in 2011. Mm -hmm. And first and foremost, uh, I wanted to make sure the culture was right. And so you can feel the culture of a, an organization when you walk in. Definitely. What it feels like. Um, and so we, we really worked on that. So one of our core principles is when we interview somebody, we want to make sure that person, based on first impression, is somebody that we'd like to invite over to our family dinner. Mm -hmm. If they seem creepy at all, or if that doesn't seem like something you'd want to do, it's probably aren't a pe somebody that you want to hire. Right. Yeah. Um, so we we take a lot of pride in that. Um, we have four core rules: mm -hmm. work hard, do mm -hmm. the right thing, um, serve others, and get results. Nice. Yeah. So those kind of things kind of guide us, mm -hmm. and then we determine, you know, what are what are pain points for customers. Mm -hmm. Because if we can eliminate those, minimize those as best as possible, we're going to create a better experience. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we'll probably do more transactions and also have those people come back and service and purchase from us again. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. one of the one of the big things that we've done, um, probably seven years ago, we went to a market pricing where we we give transparent pricing to everybody. You don't have to have done your research, even though most people do. But our pricing matches up with what most people's research is, okay. and we give that best price right up front, mm -hmm. and our salesperson's empowered to do it. So we have software that we load all of our pricing in. Salesperson just, um, we call them client advisors, will talk to a customer, find out what their needs are, such as yourself, you're looking for a new RDX, mm -hmm. drive the vehicle, explain the car, make sure the trim and model is correct, mm -hmm. and then come inside, just explain the options and the price, and then let the customer determine if that fits within their budget. Mm -hmm. From there, 
Um, what makes us super unique also is we do one point of contact. So our sales yep. consultants now do it's everything, in, yeah. including the paperwork. Mm -hmm. And most auto dealerships still have a, a business office or a finance manager that does the second part of it, yep. which is what's so time consuming. Okay. And people don't enjoy being at a store. Once they've made that Get decision. Passed around, yeah. Yeah, they, yeah. Want, they want to make a decision, buy the car, and then take delivery of that car and do the paperwork quickly uh -huh. without being passed around, like you said. Exactly. So we it's do not seamless. do that. Yeah. Um, our sales consultants take you from, we call it A to Z, um, and we typically can do it within 30 to 60 minutes of you saying yes, you're done with the paperwork, and you're driving the car out, and um, not spending the entire day at the store. So yeah. it's it's great. So our, uh, we're the largest Acura store in about six or seven different states. Mm -hmm. uh, we do a lot of new and pre-owned. We sell a lot of other makes besides Acura. And then uh, we do some other really cool things too. Um, some other pain points is people don't like to spend their... Uh, hours in the service department waiting for their vehicle to be done you know even though it takes it there's really no way to speed up a service right yeah. to do it properly yeah but we offer things like courtesy valet which will come and pick up your car oh nice bring it in get it serviced yeah. and then we'll drop it back off for you nice. so that um, if it's an inconvenience for you such as yourself if you're here today and you're at Nordstrom's yeah you can say hey could you guys come pick up my car at nine o'clock today and then drop it back off with me at four o'clock when I'm off that's pretty sweet we would have no problem doing that yeah. so little things like that that really create point a, a, a yeah. big point of difference yeah uh, point of separation yeah that's good so things like that you know we're always looking and trying to uh, redefine ourselves um, but always with a, through a lens of what would make it life better for our customers. Mm -hmm. Creating a better experience. Absolutely. More seamless. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. our, and our employees love it. You know, they're working somewhere that is unique and different. Mm -hmm. And uh, like, like you said here, they're empowered to make make decisions and, and truly improve the customer's experience. Yeah. yeah, and I think, you know, like you just said, empowering them, you know, they're in charge of the whole experience from you know, when Shay greeted me at the door to when we had the keys and took it for a test ride to when we were signing the papers, right. you know, it was right. very seamless. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Looking pretty good. Yeah, got a little glow back to it. I like it. I want to find a pair of black shoes like this that are broken in. Mm -hmm. Because these are my favorite. For sure. Most comfortable shoes I wear. Yeah, we all have our favorites. Yeah. Once they're broken in, it's even more favorite. You yeah, know? absolutely. Are you over guy or under guy on the bottom lace? Uh, I, I don't. I would probably do it like that. So cool. an over, yeah. Cool. What's the, what's the ways to do it? Yeah. yeah. What's the most common? That I way. like the over on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Especially and then under on the rest. Uh -huh. Yep. So why yeah. do the why do the shoe companies send it where they're all over? Is it just a presentation look? Mm-hmm. Okay. There's a there's a bar lace too, which uh, kind of just shows one yeah. going across. Okay. Uh, there's a few different ways to do it that way. But it makes it very difficult to time up each time. It does. Yeah. yeah. It slows you down a little bit in the morning. Yeah. I yeah. switch it over to this. Yeah. This is a little easier, kind of. Sometimes a better fit too yeah. on the top of the instep there. Okay. Yeah, that's probably exactly how I would do it there. Okay. How how often do you recommend doing a shoe shine on a on a shoe? I mean, just as uh, often as you want, or yeah, I mean, the more you do it, the better. You know, it's like washing your car; the the better it will look. You yeah. Know? But um, you know, over time, especially in the winter time, uh, that finish gets worn off, and that's yeah. when the shoe isn't protected. So. Just like, uh, you know, when you guys put the Silla Jet, is that? Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, that's right, Silla Jet. Yeah, so when you put that on the brand new car, it protects it. Right. That's the way I look at a brand new pair of shoes. Right. Get a nice healthy coat of wax on there. That's a great way to look at it. Yeah, it's like a, kind of like a rain -X, you know, any yeah. precipitation or moisture that gets on there will kind of run off. Right. Or bead up on the surface a little bit. Is that a good tightness? Yeah, that was great. Cool. Well, appreciate you coming in, John. Yeah, thank you so much. This I really appreciate this and uh, getting to know you a little bit more. Yeah, man. Yeah. Have to come visit me some more often. Yeah, I, actually, I, I will. That's yeah. why I was asking you what days you, you work here. Yeah, and I'll come in on yeah. the weekend for you, too, if you yeah. want. Yeah, no, that's, that's, I can make Monday through Thursday work for sure. Cool. What do you think, sir? Love it. Love How it. do you feel? I feel like... No one's gonna look at my shoes today and go, 
you need to polish your shoes. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> they look fantastic. Really That's appreciate it. Thank yeah, you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, you. of course. Yeah, that was awesome.